The next step is adding the treble hook. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. What is this? The Oscar? Oh! <laughs> Guys, look. Oh. Oh. Guys, what kind of what kind of species is this? Oops. Right is in my it? mouth. Guys, what is this? Comment below if you know the name of this fish. Guys, he he hit the lure. Man. Brian, I wish you would have got it from the beginning. I was working it by the bushes and he just crushed it. I see, it might be on the GoPro. Oh my gosh. Guys, it worked. We got a fish. Look. Oh man. On Should the home on the homemade lure. Homemade cork lure. Look at the, look at the spots nah, on this guy. Cool, that's a dope fish. Is that a tiger? I don't I don't know what it is. A, a tiger, tiger tilapia? I forgot. A tiger tilapia. Guys, comment below if you know the name of this one. So let's see if Brian can get something with the homemade lure. Look at that, look at that action. Guys, it's better than a topwater, guys. You need to try this at home and try to catch a fish. Look at that. Like, oh my God, oh my gosh. That, that action, bro, bro, sick. Oh, did you see that? Okay, this is the biggest freaking bass in here, buddy. Did he spit it? Yeah. No! Dang. Did you see how big it was? Yeah. Try this again. Oh, man. This quick little jerk. Come on. All right. Look at that. On the cork, baby. On the cork. I gotta get that big one. Look at that. That thing's so clean. Yeah, no, no. Just be ready. I don't know why this bite is so slow. We ain't catching nothing. Man. I don't know why either. You, you got a banana. You know what the best way to eat that banana is? Hold it like this. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Get that <laughs> out of my boat. Why'd you hit me? That was, why'd you do that? You know bananas on the boat are bad luck? Dang, Drew. That was the only meal I had for today. Now I'm on this boat starving. Brian is on another. Oh, that's a nice one, bro. Bro. Oh, double up. And double up. What are those? What are these? The minute we got rid of that banana, boy. Oh, yeah, we got rid of, we got rid of that banana. And we are catching fish like, like groupers. All right, guys, on this episode, we will be giving you the full out DIY on how to make lures out of wine corks. Let's get started. Congrats to 302 Fishing. You got all the trivia questions right from the last video. Guys, stay tuned. There's another trivia question coming up at the end of this video. And today we're actually giving away a CEO Fishing Tackle Box and it's autographed by Monster Mike and myself. So all you gotta do is watch the video and answer the trivia questions at the end and comment all your answers below. Hey guys, this is Monster Mike and you're watching Monster Mike Fishing. Normally we would be using a drill, but we used the drill the other day to uh, drill fish and I think Mike killed the battery. I killed it. I ran it dead. I caught so many big fish. Guys, if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Woo! 
drill fishing is real fishing. But back to this. All right, so the first step, we're going to use this drill to pump. All right, so the first step, we're going to drill a hole straight through the cork. Right in the center, in the middle, just like that. Give it a little pressure and turn. And pull it out. Now we got our hole. All right, so the first thing you want to do is slide in the wire to make sure that you have enough um, space in the, the tunnel to uh, run it through. And it looks like Mike did a good job there. So uh, time to cut the wire. How long should we cut the wire? All right, I figure we should make it about three times the cork. So go three corks. Okay, so one, two, three. So yeah, cut so cut right. right there. Awesome. There we go. So guys, remember that. Go three corks long on the wire, then cut it. All right, so before inserting the wire, we're going to make the loop that we connect our fishing line to. So we want to grab it around there so you can about an inch in yep about an inch in and then nice straight bend just like that and then with this hand you can twist it all right guys so once you twist it up it should look a little something like this all right so once you got your twist go ahead and pull your line through and there you've got your loop to uh tie on your fishing line the next step is adding the treble hook. So before putting the hook on, we want to bend the wire right about here. That way we have some twisting room to twist the hook on. So you want to give it, you want to give that wire a little arch, just, just like this. And now we slide on the hook. Perfect. All right, so we got the hook on. Now I'm going to grab the treble hook with the pliers and just twist the wire around. Be careful, you don't want to get popped with the, with the treble hook. I just had that happen the other day. Stuck in my hand. Does not feel good. So we need a few twists on this and it should lock it in pretty good. Any excess wire will clip off at the end. Our homemade lures is complete. Now it's time to go test it out on the water. Guys, these are awesome lures. I can't wait to see what happens. Go catch fish. Let's go. All right, we're at the spot. Let's uh, put these homemade lures to the test. Let's see if we can catch a fish. It works really good. Look at that action. Look, pop, pop. All right, let's check out the action on these things. See how they, how they work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you guys can get a little creative with these because uh, you can add some tail feathers or some sort of spinner to it yeah. that'll attract the fish better. Um, right now we're just relying on the base of the cork and the treble hook and that's all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Film. I'm way ahead of you bro. Let's get it on the... On the on the DIY DIY lure, homemade. Oh, 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 bro! This is like one of the best lures in the world. All right, so it was a tough day of fishing. It was bad weather, middle of the day, and the bite just wasn't there for us. But I have taken those corks out since then, uh, about seven o'clock in the morning, sunrise, little top water pop, and I've got several largemouth bass on those corks. You can customize them, like I said earlier. You can paint them, you can add feathers, you can put spinners and rattles on it, anything to give it a little more sound and flash to attract the fish. But I want to give you guys a little more fishing action. I want to give a little throwback to that one time we were down in the Keys with Captain Drew from Fishy Business. This guy always puts us on some amazing fish. He put us on some tarpon. And here's a quick little clip of Mike's tarpon that he landed. And also, after this video, make sure you check out all our other videos. We've got a ton of content on this channel. We've been doing it for three years. So, uh, guys, enjoy the clip. Oh, Oh, wow. 
Wow. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, snap. I got the rod just in case he lets go. Wow. That's a landed tarpon, guys. Got him. That's a landed tarpon, guys. Got him, son. <laughs> <laughs> guys. Oh. First five minutes dropping some bait. And look what we got. Big old silver king. <laughs> Drew, you are the man, buddy. All right, way to go, Mike. All right, let me see this. Oh! 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 Guys, <laughs> look at this. Oh, Silver K, baby. So for your chance to win this CEO Fishing Tackle Box, answer the following trivia questions because it is, in fact, trivia time. Question number one, how many fish did we catch in this video? All together in the whole video, how many fish did we catch? Trivia question number two, what was Mike not allowed to have on the boat? Trivia question number three, in the Keys, what type of fish did Mike land? It was a big one and it was silver. Comment your answers below and we will pick one lucky winner to be shout out in the next video and to win the CEO Fishing Tackle Box autographed by none other than Monster Mike himself and me. But to win it, you gotta comment answers below. So make sure you watch the whole video and make sure you subscribe to my channel, Brian the CEO. Guys, I will see you next time. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Make sure you hit the like button, smash that notification bell. Make sure all the notifications are on. <gasps> I gotta take a breath and that's it. I will see you guys next time. Let's go. Thank you.